The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by designing our card. And I already went ahead and created a card base, which we're going to design on top of. And we're going to go ahead and use one of our card border sets. Each set comes with six different pieces and three different designs. And each design has a side A and a side B to it like this, which I'm going to explain here in a minute. Now the first thing we want to do is go ahead and grab one of those pairs, the side A and the side B, and simply place it on top of our card base. Now this is just going to give us a few uh, fun shapes to kind of work with, and you could even do something like this on your card. Um, another fun thing is where you can design the outside of your card, and maybe even stick one on the inside of your card. And then of course, if you like the layer look, you can even add the layers to your cards by simply placing them on top like that. Now there are some things to keep in mind when you are designing with card borders. The first involves why we created a side A and a side B. And this is going to come into play when we are ready to trace and cut these shapes out of our coordinating paper. So let me show you what I mean. Now when we're ready to cut those pieces out of our paper, simply what we're going to do is take whatever coordinating paper that you're working with, um, take the side A, line it up on the edge like this, take a pencil, trace, and then you just take the matching side B, line that up, and then I simply just make a mark right here. This lets me know where to do a straight cut with my paper trimmer, and then I'm just gonna follow the line um, using a basic pair of scissors, and then the one cut at the center is automatically going to give me two different pieces. And I went ahead and I already cut this out to kind of give you a sample. Now the great thing about this is that it will allow us to do any of those designs that we just showed you by just using the one cut. Now this also allows us to take advantage of double-sided paper. So what if you wanted to create that layered look, you could simply flip it and it will give you that nice layered look like this. Um, another fun thing you could try is even maybe doing a back-to-back -back effect like this. 